Hello, my name is John Kelly, Second Assistant Fire Chief here in the Peekskill Fire Department. Today we're having our Recruitment Day, which is our annual event, which is part of a statewide initiative to encourage more people to volunteer in the Peekskill Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, we're here in our Peekskill Museum, which is the Museum of the Fire Department. We're one of the oldest institutions in the city of Peekskill dating back to 1816. Shortly, we're going to have you on a tour with Rico Suarez, who's one of our new recruits, who's currently in class and graduating this week. Rico, why don't you join me? And Rico will be giving a tour of the facility and our building and what we do, and you can get a better sense of what's happening here with the Peekskill Volunteer Fire Department aspect. We do have both career and volunteers here. And uh, well, today, we're looking for the recruit on the volunteer end of the department. So Rico, thank you. Hi, how are you? My name is Firefighter Ricardo Suarez, and you guys will be going on a tour with me to see the Peekskill Fire Department. We'll start over here. Since our building is state of the art, all of our rooms are secured by key card. Besides the open. All right, so these are some of our big cases throughout the years. This shows our on-duty career staff that are manning our truck at a moment's notice to respond to alarms throughout the city. Right here we have, in the city of Pisco, we operate four engines, one rescue and one tower ladder, and two paramedic fly carts out of our central firehouse. This is our engine, 130, our second due engine to respond to all emergencies in the city of Peekskill. This is engine 131. This is our newly uh, granted engine for the city of Peekskill. This is a Columbian engine company, the company I am part of, uh, for the Peekskill Volunteer Fire Department. State of the art engine that has been on all lines. This is first due to respond to all fire calls and all EMS calls related to the fire department. This is our engine 132, our, one of our older trucks, but still is active and still responds to our lines throughout the city, which is also active and on duty today. We have uh, five trucks on today. We have engine 130, 131, 132, rescue 134, and tire ladder 45. This is uh, 39 Medic 1. One of our uh, paramedics are currently manning this, one of our career staff lieutenants, who also happens to be a paramedic. Uh, he recently just came back from the EMS call uh, that his skills were now acquired and has returned to the station. Our lockers here are all of our career staff gear. Since they're constantly in the firehouse, their gear remains in the firehouse, and our gear usually uh, stays in our personal vehicles and are at our houses until we come to the firehouse or to ride the truck or respond directly to the scene. Right here we have our state-of-the-art radio room that we can communicate between local, state, and federal jurisdictions. This is our spare paramedic fly car that they rotate uh, usually monthly. This is one of our fourth engines. It's currently out of service. This is the Washington Engine Company number two that Chief John Kelly is part of. This is one of our specialized trucks, the Rescue. It carries all heavy rescue equipment, a lot of our EMS equipments, the Jaws of Life, cribbing, uh, and other tools to stabilize the vehicle and or perform a rescue. And last but not least, this is our tower ladder, Cortland Hook and Ladder Company number one. Uh, for all aerial operations, this will be involved in elevator calls, rescues as well. Um, it also carries attack lines and other uh, types of vehicle extrication tools on board, along with high-powered fans to reduce smoke and heat from a uh, structure as well. Here. Since our firehouse is state of the art, all trucks before they enter the firehouse have uh, exhaust ports that are connected. So as soon as they enter, the exhaust can be excreted through the building. So we have a safe and clean environment for our firefighters. Right here is our uh, brand new uh, door simulator. We were uh, graciously granted this uh, for unknown number. I don't remember the price. Um, our firefighters, career and volunteer practice 
right here, forceful entry skills maintain our sharp skills to be able to force any door in the city and to gain entry to form a rescue or for EMS call as well. Right here is our decon laundry. So for any fire situation, after a fire, we have to make sure our gear is clean and washed so we do not bring cancerogens and other harmful chemicals into our blood and to make sure we reduce firefighter cancer rates in America as well. Right there is one of our in-house toning alert systems to make sure we're always available and we know that there's a call in the city of Peekskill. Here is our bailout tower that all interior firefighters are required to have. Approximately our firefighters do six jumps a year to stay proficient in our bailout kits. Sorry for all the feedback from our in-house toning system as units are getting ready to respond to another run. We're gonna go upstairs now to all our storage areas. We have six individual companies that since we moved into the new firehouse, all of our storage areas are upstairs. So right here is the upper area of the firehouse. You can see both sides of uh, the fire base. Shortly, you'll be seeing the paramedic respond to EMS run. In PTO, we have six companies. We have Washington Engine Company, Engine 133, Centennial Hose Company number four, that's 130. We have Columbia Engine Company 131. We have Rescue 134. We have Columbia Hose number one, that's also Engine 132. And all our other miscellaneous storage areas that maintain equipment uniforms and other tools we may need. Our uh, bailout tarot is currently under construction so we can train in-house and we don't have to leave the city or go to one of our older firehouses and practice bailout so we can do everything in-house. Uh, this should be completed within a couple weeks. Right here, as you see, 39 Medic 1 is currently responding to an EMS call. Right. Our uh, fire department answers a high volume of EMS calls. Uh, if the ambulance corps needs assistance on EMS calls, uh, our first two engine 131 is also fully equipped with medical equipment, AEDs, and any other, any other medical uh, equipment that may be needed or extra set of hands on a high priority call, such as a cardiac arrest or overdose, stabbing, or just a lift assist. You never know what the case may be. Right now, we're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna go to our day room and see how our volunteers and our career staff, you know, hang out, play cards, you know, however, what they do on their spare time. Right now, our members are currently giving other people tours of the building to continue our recruitment drive throughout the day. Since our firehouse is clean and tries to remain clean, 
no turnout gear or firefighting equipment is allowed past the store and everything stays in the apparatus bed. We also have hand washing areas to make sure all of our hands are clean with uh, any dirt or hand scrapes on our hands as well. One of our fire police captains right here. Oh yeah. Our trophy cases throughout the years of all of our parades. Right here we have our volunteer staff for computers. Uh, our volunteers can come in if they're in college and do schoolwork. They also catch up on, you know, whatever other activities they may be doing in their personal lives, as well as also serving their community. Right here is our volunteer day room. We have right here we'll, our pool table will be going. Uh, we have uh, a brand new memorabilia that's added to the wall here, and we'll be adding a few more things along with a pool table um, and some other things that our members choose to decorate and make it more of our own. Uh, right here, you see we have we have state of the art learning system. Whenever alarm comes in, we always know what the case may be and where it is in the city. So at a moment's notice, we can respond. All right. On the other side, we have our Carissa. All right, we also have uh, two kitchens in the firehouse as well. All right. Uh, let's go this way. All right, here we have our museum. It's not fully complete, but we have one of our antique pumpers, Columbia Engine Company number one. All right, we're going to be going upstairs now. Our department surgeons throughout the year. Current department surgeon is Dr. John McGrady. He's in charge of doing all the physicals and making sure all of our firefighters are healthy and up to date. have access to our state-of-the-art exercise room 24 hours a day. Members can come throughout the course of the day along with our career staff and work out and maintain their physical fitness. Even if they're up here, we are fully in communication. If there is a call, we have an alerting system up here as well, so members can leave whatever they're doing, and go downstairs and ride the trucks in response to whatever alarm emergency that may be happening in the city. Upstairs we have two large uh, meeting rooms, one for meetings and other, the other room is usually for events. It's open to the public that they can rent this out. Um, next week I believe we have the Lions Club coming here to have a activity in the middle of the day. We also have another kitchen upstairs that's fully operational. This is our kitchen that we can cook in, we can spend time in, prepare food for our members and or other guests that may be in the building. These are our refrigerators. Right now, there's not much food in them. We have, oh, we have drinks for everyone that may need a beverage. This is our second meeting room right here. Uh, we usually have our mandated OSHA training classes here by our uh, city municipal training officer and we continue to go through there. Right now we're going to go out the back stairwell and we're going to end up right back in the base.
through this door since our career staff are probably you know resting um, we're not gonna go through there but through there we have our bunks for our career staff along with our bunks uh, approximately 20 beds for standbys and other events if our firefighters choose to sleep over and answer calls right in the truck instead of responding from their house which reduces response times as well And right now, we're pretty much coming to an end of our tour right now. I hope you guys truly enjoyed it. Um, if you guys would like to come down to our open house, it's running till 4 o'clock, and we'll be here even till after that. Come, time, come during the week at any time and pick up the application. We're always looking for more members, all diversity, all genders, all ages. The whole family has a place for the Peace Department, and you can join the family too. Thank you.